Okay guys, uh, welcome. I know it's been an awful long time since I have actually had a, a video out there and uh, my apologies for that, I've been very, very busy but I plan to uh, change that on the, the this year, 2020. Um, so let, let me just kick off with, I, I was asked a question, I, I was going to kind of keep this question within our group, you know, whether I thought that um, you could learn mediumship online on an online course and my answer was emphatically, uh, no, I don't support it. And here's the reasons I don't actually support online training or online courses for mediumship. Mediumship by its very nature is, is a very spiritual uh, act, if you like. It's a very spiritual thing. It's, a, it's, it's not a job, it's a vacation. And unfortunately, we have lost the vacation and mediumship to business and to it seems to be an easy thing for many people to um, just jump out, go on a course. So it's, it seems an easier thing for anybody to learn and just to go on a course, uh, attend a couple of courses, uh, and then you know claim that they're a medium. And the responsibility of mediumship is incredible. Uh, you have a responsibility to spirit, but more more importantly, you have a responsibility to those people who are grieving. And you cannot just learn that online. Um, one of the great difficulties of the online environment is that there is a lack of support there. And what I mean is anybody who is actually sat in a home circle or a church circle or in a group, the, the mediumship teacher... Um, is able to feel the energy in the room. He's able to, he or she is able to interact with those students and to see and feel where they may be going wrong and where they may be going right and where their strengths and their weaknesses are. You can't do that online. The very best thing that you're going to get online is learning about the mechanics or learning about, you know, um, the theory of it. And it doesn't necessarily make you a great medium. Any of us that teach mediumship can teach anybody connect, but it doesn't mean that you're a great medium and it doesn't mean that you're going to be a great medium. And unfortunately, it is not about just jumping on a couple of courses and learning about mediumship and putting yourself out there. I have to actually laugh and I spoke to a few colleagues um, about that recently. I noticed online that there was, there was an individual who had actually attended several weekend uh, workshops and then went out and said, I'm a medium, I'm starting my spiritual business, this is how much it costs for readings. You know, I understand we all need to make a living and, and things, but when you've only been in, when you've only been in mediumship or you've only been serving for 10 minutes, you then don't go and say, uh, and by the way, if you want to come and do my eight weeks intensive advanced mediumship course, when you've actually only got 10 minutes experience and, um, you've only attended a few courses, it doesn't make you a professional medium. Um, there's a great deal of, of responsibility in mediumship and people don't take that seriously because it seems to be easy for people to go on a course, learn to connect, and anybody can learn to connect, okay? Everybody has the ability to connect, but it doesn't make you a medium because there are so many little subtle nuances that you, you need to understand and you need to learn, and you need to learn discernment, and you need to be able to... Uh, raise your vibration sufficiently enough that you're able to communicate with the other side and to decipher the message that they're given to you in various ways. And that takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of time and development of yourself. It's not just about technique. It's about developing. So, you know, I'm not a supporter of... of if I was a supporter of teaching online mediumship, I would have classes going left, right and center. I don't do that. Yes, I might teach a class on, you know, theory about mediumship or that I do on this channel, or I might discuss it, or um, I might teach about intuition, or I might teach about spiritual development, but I do not and I will not teach online mediumship. I don't believe in it. I would rather be in a, a, a group setting, in, in a circle setting, or, or where I'm teaching regularly over a, a period of time. And I'm sure that many of my colleagues are the same because they want to be able to interact with their students. They want to be able to 
um, to help the students develop to the best of their ability. And here is the other thing that, that you can't do online. And, and I'm sure that many of my professional colleagues will understand this as well. You don't know if that person that you're actually teaching or that you're giving information to on the other side has had a very bad day. You don't know if they've perhaps taken alcohol. You don't know if they have taken drugs. You don't know if that person is emotionally ready to take mediumship or emotionally ready to learn and open themselves up to the spirit world because it is dangerous. And as I've mentioned in my book, Deadly Departed, The Do's, Don'ts and Dangers, The Afterlife Communication, we have to be very careful about what we open up to and learning things from an online course or, or, or learning to uh, uh, do mediumship and call yourself a certified medium just by taking online classes, classes is not something that I believe in. It's not something that I will support or ever support. Um, and it's not something that, that, that I feel comfortable doing because I want to be in that situation and I'm sure my other colleagues do, where they're in the circle or they're in the group or the workshop that they're teaching and they're able to identify, is that person emotionally ready? Does that person need to go out of the room? Do they need to not be here because they're, 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 they're perhaps opening themselves up to, to other dangers? Or, you know, maybe there's emotions in the people. And remember that in the circle environment, uh, there is uh, times where the harmony and the energy will be vibrant and it'll be great and everybody will have a great session. But there's also times where that vibrancy will be lower and, and that can be down to the emotions of the people in the circle. It can be down, maybe they had a bad day that day. Maybe they had a, maybe someone just cut them off on the highway or maybe the, their mother has fallen ill or something and they're not emotionally ready for it. So, you, but you can't do that online. You can, can't do that when you've got 30 or 40 people online in a class. The, the reality of the online courses for mediumship is just purely, to my mind, a monetary exercise and uh, doesn't necessarily serve in the vocational capacity that those who are dedicated to the mediumship or those who are dedicated in service to spirit should be doing. So these are the reasons that I do not and will not teach mediumship development online and it's personal I am not taking anything away from anybody who does it but I'm old school and I'd rather stay old school and I'd rather help students develop in the right way as, as the way that I did and the way that I do uh, every day developing myself and my wife Joanne every day she develops herself we're continually developing looking at how we feel in mind body and soul we when we are teaching or we're you know, teaching workshops, we want to interact and see how everybody is feeling and maybe where they are or where their weaknesses are, what they can work on, what they can do. We can't do that uh, online on an online circle or an online course. It just becomes a monetary exercise, uh, really. And and there's 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 not much that you can do in way of really supporting someone developing in their mediumship. That is my reasons. Um, and I know a lot of other people will totally disregard what I'm saying and that's fine and they can continue doing that but that's my, my, my point, that's my status and um, I won't be changing that anytime soon and any workshop, for those of you who have been to workshops for me, you know how I operate and you know that I push for uh, as, as much as I possibly can, um, you know, push the student. So. And I know my other colleagues, Leo, my colleague who does it, my wife does it. I know other mediums that, that teach, that are great teachers and they teach them in workshops and they, they help the, the student to develop. So um, I don't think online mediumship teaching is a very good thing. I also think there's an inherent danger to it when perhaps someone has been, you know, is not emotionally ready or they're even grieving too much or they just open themselves and they dabble or they think they'll take a shortcut and they start to dabble in other ways. So, no, it's not a good thing and I'm not going to change that. I respect every anybody who's doing it, but I look at mediumship as being a complete uh, vocation rather than a job. God bless, guys. If you've got any questions, then please uh, write in, you know, get on my social, follow me on Instagram, talk to me on Instagram. That's where I probably communicate the most personally. Um, other people look after my social, but um, if you have any questions, then ask me. I'm, I'm happy. 
to share my knowledge and my wisdom from my point of view and I hope that you'll understand. I respect everyone out there who's doing their thing and I respect the people that are teaching online classes. It's not for me, it never will be and those are the reasons why I do that. God bless.